Hello guys, so this is Arish Kumar and this is my first video. So let's start the let's start with the video. So in the first video we will learn how to set up app in vendor sources and use it to make extensions. So first uh, you have you'll have to download a page chant app in vendor sources and uh, get uh, and the JDK. So that you actually don't need the git bash. We will do it with command prompt. I will show you how to do it with command prompt. But first, let's download. So first, let's go to uh, App Inventor Sources and click on Code and then download zip. All the download links will be given in the description. So uh, and then when this is done, click Go on a page and and then uh, download this uh, 1.10.10 version and download bin.zip and then go to java jdk and download one of these then once done we'll uh, go to environmental variables right click on this pc then properties then advanced system settings then environmental variables so first we'll go with uh, java options variable this uh, you will have to create it i've already created it but uh, you can create it so first this is the variable name and the value is this next the class path variable this is the name and the value will be this then the java home variable this uh, the java home variable name is this and the value will be the path to your jdk then we'll go to path note this path uh, is of the user variables and not of system variables then click on edit and then first of all add this and and o oh, and home this one and this one then if everything is done just click on ok now we'll go to system variables we'll first add and home and the value will be the path to a page and bin and the and tops variable will be the value to this and then we'll go to path this time this path is of the system variables now click on it and click edit now uh, it will show uh, mostly this thing should be there but if it, no, it is not there then uh, please add this path now everything is done now just uh, click on ok and then ok and ok and close it then we'll go to app inventor sources folder app inventor and then we'll go to components source com now here you will only see google folder so you will have to create your own directory i have created ak tech directory so once done uh, open it and add your java i have uh, added a lot of java but today i'll show you uh, the simplest one yes so in this we'll first explain what uh, the every things do the package will be the of all the folder values from source like inside so there was com akitech and then temperature converter key then you'll have all your imports here then designer component version 1 then your uh, comp uh, extension description then your category if you are making an extension then this should always be extension and then your icon name the icon name can also uh, can be a ul either a path either it is uh, either it can be saved on your computer so next uh, add that simple object external is equal to true then we'll write public class this temperature converter should always match the java file even this should match it and then uh, extends and or non-visible component please do not or uh, please always add this uh, please do not add activity or anything else extends and then we'll add this then inside it uh, we will add public temperature converter and you can just see uh, this thing is not much needed but still you can add it private component container 
and then here you will have to super it all or else it will not compile and then this dot if you are adding this then you should add this dot container is equal to container and then uh, you will have to write your code now uh, you can see my code from uh, this apps art community so uh, you can download it from here now a little intro about apps art apps art is a new uh, app builder and development you can use it to make uh, apps without no <coughs> experience so uh, you can get the java files uh, java from here there and then close it then we'll go to app inventor as i shown you that uh, we don't need git bash so we will use command prompt now how to use it with command prompt first create a text document rename it to compile and then remove this and write bat now click on yes now right click edit it and write cmd.exe and save now open it and run ant extensions now it may take 30 to 1 minute sometimes even less and then it is almost done So this, the, you can ignore these warnings, it is just missing the description. And here you go, build was successful. And then just close it and then to get your component, uh, then to get your extensions, click on components build and it is ready in extensions so that was it then uh, so i uh, hope you like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe like and comment this video so bye bye